So you should be aware that we are doing this protest. Again, you should be aware that you are there to give us security and not to harass us. Any police that will harass us should know that they are doing it against the law and that they shall face the law and nobody is above the law, even the lawmakers in this country. So right now I'm calling upon everyone to stand up as Kenyans. I'm calling upon parents. I'm calling upon every government institution. I'm calling upon everyone that is watching that we should not be, we should not be, actually we should not be shut up or we should not be shut down maybe or we should not even be silenced by anything. Actually, Peter Saruni stands for the voice of Jeff Mwadi. And not only Peter Kioi, everybody that is here within this vicinity, that we are calling for justice for Jeff. And we are not requesting, we are demanding. Right now, we are calling upon the government of Kenya, that is the section of the MPs, and, and those who will pre are presenting us in the government institution, that we elected you to go and present us. Now, when the country has no people, who will you lead? I am calling upon any member of parliament that is sitting and watching this, that you are there to represent us as the Mwanainchi. And we are the Mwanainchi at the same time we are the Wenyeinchi. We are the people and the people for the government and the government for the people. And if you want to oppose it, put it in writing form because I don't take verbal talks. Now, I want to tell any other person that is actually against this justice for Jeff. It is only two ways. It is either you give us justice through constitution, or we take it through our hands and that's all thank you just a question eh? before you leave uh, uh, are you guys cooperating with the family to kuhakikisha kwamba mmepata haki ya mtoto wao actually the, the family like, is are you in talks with the family actually uh, yeah the family is very in touch with us and uh, we are getting in touch on a daily basis we are not only looking for uh, upon justice for Jeff, but also consoling the family. And every day, day to day, we always engage them. The only thing that we, we can agree on is that the family cannot always come on media every time because you know they are grieving. But the family uh, is very much well uh, connected to us. The other time I was arrested at a central police station, the, um, Jeff's mother conducted me and she really wished that I should be outside that place and apart from that she really shed tears for me and that's a parent and a parent is connected to the, the child and as for me i don't view it like a relationship between a uh, friendship it's more than a friendship it's just a family affair and we are all family and as you see as you see us here we are not working as friends we are family mm -hmm. yeah second question maybe the last time we did an interview with you actually uh ulikuwa una received threats i don't know whether something has been done concerning that the government of Kenya has nothing to do with that because actually, if they cannot give justice for the, uh, for the dead or to the dead, do you think they will support me because I'm being threatened? They cannot take it. But uh, actually for me, I am calling upon those who are threatening us that they should now come and take our heads off because actually we are not giving up and we are not giving in. So anything to do with that maybe, I can tell you that yes, we are receiving threats on daily basis, but that's, not, that's now our daily food. You have reported to the police station about it? We have reported to several police stations and we have several obis uh, concerning that. But uh, our key and our main agenda is to make sure that justice is served. Another thing, eh, we, are not we are not here for clout. We are not here to be fame. We are not here to be known. And even I will not even wish to be interviewed maybe. But because we want to put everything clear, that's why we come on camera. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, that we are not going to be intimidated or either to be pulled down by anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, another question. You guys, uh, there is an interview you did with Shiko and you guys said, uh, you, you know who killed Jeff. Have you guys uh, gone to the police maybe to write a statement concerning the same? Yeah, there are some written submissions that I had made severally, but uh, I will not close, uh, disclose everything here because this media and also these people that we are calling them are uh, uh, the suspect. Actually, you should quote this to me, from me, that we have not called anybody a killer. They, are, they remain to be suspects until they are proven guilty mm -hmm. and you should not put words in our mouth we have never said that we truly know that you killed because if, you, if i would be sure of that i would not only go to the police but i also chop the head off yeah so we are ready to say to to know anything that maybe after cooperation we know yeah okay. sure lastly Swaliangu uh, Yamwisho, you guys uh, have been on the front line pushing the agenda the hashtag justice for jeff right. since they won up until now we have done this interview. Mm -hmm. Tungependa tu kujua, uh, I mean, there are suspects, of course. Wale watu wanatajwa huko inje, suju walikuwa, wengine wakafanya. What is your message to DCI um, kwa, kwa suspects wenye bawa wajashikuwa? My message to DCI. Number one, before I deliver the message, eh? the key suspect here is 
DJ Fatson. Why? The incident happened it, uh, in his own house. That one calls for one. Number two, uh, I already explained how he becomes a suspect in this murder case. Uh, the DCI, I want to call upon the DCI first to do a thorough investigation among the, the members, the staff members. Because maybe they are not all corrupt, but some are corrupted, some are bribed, and some are shut down maybe by the authorities. I want to tell the DCI, categorically, starting from Kasarani, I want to be very clear on this and quote this. This year, do your work. And you should remember that this is not a golden bug case. This is not a chicken scandal case. This is not the Sagasian uh, Magarian case. This case is very delicate and it will lead some of you to be even, uh, uh, some of you to be, uh, what do you call it? Eh? Not arrested because arresting is not enough. <laughs> Actually, you will be suspended from your works and you you will actually you will lose your jobs uh the dci should be very keen on this case i have already said money talks but money is not everything right now you are fighting us with money those who are fighting us with money remember that we serve a bigger god that's number one they will bring god will bring everything in broad daylight just like the way god turned this case from such a, a matter of uh, suicide to murder case he will come and uh, clear everything and he will bring it to the broad daylight. And we are telling the DCI, the earlier the better. Because the citizens of Kenya are very tired of this uncouth behavior. And we are, you are now bringing a, a, a system whereby it becomes normal to kill and go. No. The DCI, you have asked me a message to the DCI. We need investigations done in a very short period. And the delivery, that is the file to be compiled and follow the DPP. The DPP also. We have already had rumors. How, rumors has it all that the ODPP is the one who has failed to sign the file because they say they have no enough evidence. You have no enough evidence. But when one defaults to pay a loan in a bank, you have enough evidence. When one appears in the streets and demonstrate because of Raila, you have ev evidence to come and arrest them. But right now you don't have evidence when someone dies and my uh, mysteriously and timely death and in a weird manner. We will give you evidence by doing an example of taking one of the suspects to the rooftop and throw them down. Then you will come and collect the evidence from there. Yes.